Hi, I'm Kate Lumsden of Village Acupuncture and Ayurveda in Marin County, and I am a licensed acupuncturist by the state of California to treat people of all ages, including babies, children, teens, adults, and elders. And today I want to show you the tools that I use in my pediatrics practice. So I explain to children when they come in that their bodies are really good at listening. They receive messages really easily. And part of what we do when we, they come in to see me is we get to hear, I get to hear about what their bodies are experiencing or what they're experiencing in their lives and their hearts and their minds. And that's going to be from the parent, but then also as much as possible, the child's experience too. And then we're going to use various tools um, to give the body messages back on how to heal and how to feel better. And so I explain the bodies, children's bodies are very sensitive. And so we can give those messages in lots and lots of different ways because they're so good at listening. So those messages are received through the body, through meridians, through channels that kind of carry the messages in the body, I explain to children. Um, and the different points on those channels are going to give the body different messages. And that's something that I got to learn when I was in school. So what are these tools that we use to give the body the messages? The first tool I introduce to children are shells. And so these are shells that have different kind of edges. And this is um, something akin to the Japanese practice of shonishin, which I'll show you in just a moment. And so we use these to gently scrape, to brush, um, maybe to tap, maybe to just apply consistent pressure to different places in the body to send a different message. So for instance, there's a spot on the hand, especially in midway in the thumb, that is a special point that tells your body to help um, kick a cough. So sometimes we'll feel that and we'll take a deep breath and notice how the body responds. So those are my shells, often a favorite. And then I have this crystal. So this I'll use more for acupressure, so for a particular point. Um, that I'm looking to stimulate rather than doing a broader area. And um, children love this. It's pointy on one end and squared on the other. And then referencing what I just mentioned is Shoni Shin. So Shoni Shin um, is a system that was built um, or put together by the Japanese and they it means tiny needle. And so this is not actually needles. These are tools that are used topically to stimulate points um, specifically for children. And so there are a number of different tools we can use. Um, one of my favorites and kids' favorites is this metal tool here. And so when we use these tools, we, um, as a practitioner, you essentially hide them in your hands. So the child is going to feel your fingertips, but then also the tool. Um, as I'm showing children these, they always want to try them out. So we do. Um, their caregiver can also try it. Um, and before I would use it on their bodies, I always gain their consent. So that's a very important part of the practice that they know that they can come in um, and see a trusted healthcare provider. Um, in addition to Shonishin, so those are the most commonly things that I will use with all children. Um, sometimes we'll use things like essential oils to stimulate certain points. Um, so this is a special kind of essential oil that is made specifically for pediatrics because they need to be diluted because children's bodies um, their livers in particular, are not well suited to um, be handling full potency essential oils like we might use um, closer on an adult. There's cupping, just like we would use on adults with this little one. Um, and with all of these tools, there's generally some kind of song or playful thing that we're doing along with it. Um, so children's uh, treatments are always lots of play, lots of laughter, um, and they are uh, very naturally calming to kids who need that. Um, this is something we'll use to stimulate a point, and this is a moxa sticker. So this is pressed dried mugwort that can be lit. And so always, it depends on the child whether this is a, a fit for them. And then we'll put it on a point, and I will always keep my fingers on it, so that way I can feel when it grows warm, um, and the child will feel it sometimes too. And then we take it off when it's warm to the point, and so we can use heat to stimulate an acupuncture point in that way. So those are all of my non-needle tools. So those, just using even one of those can provide a child with a really um, positive effect. They can have a healing treatment that then, um, and acupuncture for adults or for children, um, oftentimes in one treatment, there will be some benefit gained, uh, but it takes consistent treatment in order for there to be lasting results, which is really what we're, we're after. When I am using needles with children, um, there are something that looks more like a traditional acupuncture needle that we would see with an adult, except these are especially fine. So these are sterile single-use needles. Um, it is 
not too often that I will use these with children. Um, but in some cases, especially in certain dermatological cases, using an acupuncture needle is actually much better. Um, so for instance, not creating more um, irritation on the skin. And so for children, we call these taps rather than acupuncture needles because they get, or we tap, I will tap it in for them. And then we take it right out. So that's a big difference for pediatric acupuncture. They don't need to sustain the needles. Their bodies are such good listeners. In and out works out perfectly. And then lastly, are these are press needles. These are what I call magic stickers in my office. And these um, children don't even generally realize that there is a needle attached to this because this is such a short, short needle. Um, and so these just go on like stickers after we've cleaned the skin. And a child can wear this for a few days actually. So it continues to stimulate the point and the child can have lasting results. Um, kids love these in my office. They come in asking for their magic stickers. Um, so know that acupuncture in its traditional sense of having a needle can be really accessible and enjoyable for children as well. Um, and babies too. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions around what acupuncture or non-needle techniques can help with your child, um, by all means reach out. I love that this is a source of healing for children and adults for all the things you would think of with adults as well. So digestive, mood, um, immune, autoimmune, dermatological, sleep, um, teething too for babies, all of these things um, Chinese medicine can really help with. So take care, enjoy.